Lois Deloach, who has just been wonderful through working with her this year, and especially for Durham Reed. She uh, was our MC, I guess, at our Durham Sings Together, and that was just a wonderful thing that we did at the Haycott Heritage Center. Um, she has degrees from Duke and UNC. She's won numerous community awards, um, including the Shir Shirley Caesar Community Service Award, the Indie Arts Award, and the an Emerging Artist Award. She is has an amazing career. We have albums, we have CDs for sale, and also we have um, copies of March over here after the concert. And now, welcome with me, Lois Deloach. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know about you, but I can almost document my life in song. And for me, so much of that music came out of spirituals and church music and also popular music. But for example, the song we just did, um, you know, uh, woke up this morning with my mind, stayed on freedom, and started out, woke up this morning with my mind, stayed on Jesus, right? So a lot of the songs of social change derive from um, and align with um, the, the sacred music as well. We hope you'll enjoy this evening. We just have a few pieces uh, we want to do for you, share with you, and want you to join along with us in the songs that you know. Don't be shy. This is a, a community spirited evening, and I'm so pleased, I'm so pleased and again honored to have some special guests who at the last minute, you know, uh, I, I'm truly blessed when you can call on people, and I introduce them in, in, in just a few minutes, uh, and they say, yes, I will stand with you. Uh, the first person, of course, is uh, Scott Soria, who we've been working together now for about 20 years. And uh, he's an amazing guitarist. And, uh, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound 
That's very a wrench like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Strange. 
don't know the psalm, you need to look that one up. There are two additional verses. And lest we forget how precious our freedom is and our responsibility to each other, um, that is a um, stark reminder. We want to proceed now with the tune um, that was written by Dr. Billy Taylor. Dr. Billy Taylor is a well-noted, he's, he's, he's gone on now, a well-noted jazz um, composer. He used to do jazz mobile in New York. He was born right here in Greenville, North Carolina, and his family moved to Washington, D.C. when he was young. Um, but he wrote a tune called um, I Wish I Knew How It Feels to Be Free. It was made um, popular by Nina Simone. And as many of you know, Nina Simone was a very um, loud and provocative voice for many years in the, um, during the heat and heart of the civil rights movement and afterwards. And so this is Dr. Zoe Taylor's term called How I Wish I Knew How It Feels to Be Free. <laughs> I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. I wish I could break all the chains holding me. I wish I could say all the things that I should say. Say them loud, say them clear. For the whole wide world to hear, I wish I could share all the love that's stuck in my heart. Remove all the miles that keep us apart. I wish you could know how it feels to be.
It's been a long, long, long time coming, but I know the change don't come. Oh, yes, you will. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there Beyond the skies It's been a long A long time coming But I know Change don't come Oh yes you I go to the movie and I go down town. Mm. Somebody keep telling me don't hang around. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know. Change don't come. Oh, yes, you will. And then I go to my brother. And I said, Brother, help me, please. Songs like uh, uh, Planted by the, by the 
the tree that's planted by the power to the people, black, black power to the African people, who shall survive America? A very few N-word and no C-word at all. I'm going to let y'all feel that in. <laughs> but, but songs actually helped us. They kept us going when we were out there protesting back in the 1960s and 1970s. So, I mean, I, I, I sing every day in the shower, outside the shower, just dri driving along. It's just... I love to sing. For this comment, um, I start listening to music. We get, have music in our house all the time. We, my sister Sandra is at the back. She can attest. We had all kinds of music in our house. And um, the radio was on all the time in the background, and you got to choose. But I remember, I don't know how old I, I, I was, but when the song came out about Abraham, Mark, and John, Anybody here you see my old friend Martin? Can you tell me where he's gone? He's freed a lot of people, but the good, the good, they die young. I looked around and he was gone. Uh, you know, it was something, even as a youngster, that really moved me about that. And in general, I, I love the music for the sheer beauty of the music, but I am drawn to the lyrics to the and would sit in front of the stereo and write down every lyric into the song. So thank you for sharing this evening. And again, thank you, Dr. Freddie Parker. We want to continue now. Um, Scott and I are going to try a tune that we just um, um, decided today we were going to try to do it. So bear with us. But again, one of, our, my, one of my favorites. Donnie Hathaway um, had a broad range of beautiful, beautiful songs. Um, and what's interesting is that many of his songs, of course, became popular in the 70s. Because again, yes, the Civil Rights Act was 64 and all that, but just like when slavery ended, how long was Jim Crow and all? Seriously, things just don't change overnight. So still in the 70s, and even today, but in the 70s, the sentiment around um, inequality and injustice um, and feeling disenfranchised. Um, but this was one of those songs that was more a uh, message of hope and inspiration. Oh. 
Freddie was talking about being 15 years old and on the pro protest line. So, you know, so we'll, 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 let's do one of those together. <laughs> Ain't gonna let tell you too much about anything, but if you get the New York Times, Sunday Times, you open that up for you? <laughs> <laughs> you find me on there, and it's in the town that's listed is Durham, North Carolina. <laughs> Right here. Right here. Did you play with Duke Allen? 
and can't walk out, we're going to all do, we shall overcome, and we shall end with, we shall overcome. This has been amazing. Thank you so much. We have, and I, I, I so appreciate the library. We have a very special library. So if you and your family have things to contribute to Durham history,